Mabuhay, Pinam family, welcome or welcome back to my channel, you guys. On today's video, I will be explaining how I made my, the current wallet that I'm using, how I made my wallet the way it is. I do get a lot of questions about how I made my wallet to look the way it is. Um, this is not a tutorial because I already modified my wallet, so I'll just explain what I did to it. I want to give credit to So Crafty Sana here on YouTube. She made a tutorial of how she made her Louis Vuitton wallets into cash envelope wallet system i will link that video for you guys down in the description box so let me begin um so this wallet is an authentic louis vuitton this was gifted to me by my mother-in-law years ago maybe more than uh, 10 years ago um, this is called the Zippy Wallet in Damier Ibin material, which is the checkered style. Um, I've checked the LV website to this day. They are still selling this wallet. I will post it right now, the current price and the item number. Uh, before I decided to modify this wallet, I wasn't using it for the longest. It was, you know, in the box, sitting in my closet until I found the cash envelope system method. I, I thought about selling this wallet, but since this was gifted by my mom, I decided to just keep it. I watched uh, So Crafty Sana's video and got the courage to modify this wallet, and I've been using it ever since. Okay. I'm going to remove all of the content in my wallet so I can show you guys that's that was my that's my receipt okay. um, my envelopes and I'm going to remove all my debit cards This wallet zips like this. This wallet doesn't open wide, it opens halfway. And it has a lot of compartments. It has one, two, three, four, five compartments. And it has one, two, three, four credit cards on one side, and the other side has one, two, three, four as well. So that's a total of. Um, eight credit cards compartments and this side before I cut it open it used to look like this you guys this is what's keeping it in place okay and so what I did to this side is I had to decide which one or how I want my wallet to open so I decided to um, open open the I guess there's one side and two side I opened this side and I kept this side the one with the zipper I guess this is supposed to be for your coins but I don't use it for my coins so um, I kept this one in place I didn't want to cut this open I only wanted to cut one side okay so this side before I opened it it used to look like this you guys on both sides Okay, so what I did was I used a really sharp scissor to cut it open in the middle. Okay, and then it's, you know, it opened wide. And then I used this blade right here. Well, this is actually my Cricut blade. And it looks like this. It's very sharp. You can use any brand's that you prefer okay so I use this to remove once this one is cut open um, I use this blade to remove the extra leather 
that was, you know, um, just any extra leather, I just removed it. And the way I removed it is, you will see, I don't know how close I can be here. Guys, you will see the stitching on each side. So what I did is that I cut the extra piece before the stitching. If you're ever going to try this on you know, a wallet, guys, please do not cut near um, or don't cut the, the stitching because your wallet will fall apart. So what I did is I cut it like you know just before the stitching I was very careful not to cut the stitching okay so that's how I removed the extra leathers or the extra leather material on both sides so now my wallet is wide open okay you guys so what I did here is that I added a double sided velcro tape and I ordered this from Amazon. Um, I will also link um, the item down below so you guys can easily find it. This one is from Brave Shine. And I don't know how many it comes in a pack, but when you buy this, okay, your Velcro tape will look like this. So what I did was that I used this velcro tape. I'm, I'm going to show you guys how this look like. So when you separate the velcro tape. Okay, so that's how you separate. And then that's how you connect. And the white part is the adhesive part. Okay, so you're going to... Okay, you're going to separate your velcro tapes. And the rough part, there's the rough part, and this is the cloth part. So the rough part, you guys, you're going to, okay, you're going to have to figure out how long you want your Velcro tape. So mine is about six and a half inches long, and the width is about half an inch. And after you figure out, you know, your size, um, you're going to remove, okay, get the, the rough part. You're going to remove the backing, which is the adhesive side, okay, that's the sticky part. This is um, heavy duty, so this is good. It, it will, like, stick to any material. Um, you're going to go ahead and stick the adhesive part to your wallet and you're just gonna go ahead and press it down I had to use two of these and I just cut the excess it will look like this you guys so I just had to use two two of them let me go ahead and set it. okay so I had to use I had to connect them like this in my wallet Okay, that's why it look like that. Okay, you guys, so after I put it in the wallet, um, okay, let's talk about the rings. I'm not knowledgeable on the size of the rings, so the rings that I'm using for my wallet is from my my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM that I own for several years. Okay, let me show you guys. This is my very first um, Louis Vuitton Agenda PM that I own maybe more than 15 years ago. This is in a Bernie leather and this is the only Bernie leather that I own from Louis Vuitton. And I have no use for this Agenda PM. And this is the original rings that come with us Agenda PM. So what I did is that I searched um, how to remove rings on YouTube and I was able to remove these rings and transfer this to my wallet. Um, right now I am using this Agenda PM to hold all of our passports. Okay, so this is how it looks like, like 
this can hold up to right now there's um, five passports in here for all of us so this is what I use it for when you know when we travel I also have another small agenda PM this style is the monogram this one I also own um, for the longest um, so this is how it originally looked like Okay, so I am planning to use this soon, maybe when I switched out my wallet. And again, so the rings. So I removed the rings, you guys, and I added, remember the second part, the cloth part of the Velcro tape. Okay, and the size of the back of this ring is about 0.25 inch. So I had to use one hole and a little bit of um, a second piece and I remove the backing which is the adhesive part and stick it on the back of the rings okay so now it looks like this so now I'm able to connect this to my wallet like that you guys okay There you go. And if I ever want to change the ring, I can. I just have to add Velcro tape on the back of the rings and just attach it here. So there you go. So that's how I'm able to modify my wallet. And guys, the for the cash envelopes I have in my wallet, I personally made to fit in this wallet if you know how to make cash envelopes um, the dimensions of the cash envelopes are about are about seven inch um, in length and three point five three and a half in height okay that's including the hole punch and the size of the hole punch of this rings is A7. Okay, and I used my hole puncher. Okay, this one I also got from Amazon. It has the guide right here. This one is good to use for pocket mini, which is a, I guess A7, because that's what I use for the for the holes for my envelopes. You can also you can also use this for agenda A6 size and also personal compact A5 size. I try not to open my rings like all the time because I don't want the rings to become loose. So what I do with my envelopes is I just cut slits on each envelopes and attach them to my wallet this way. And if I ever want to change my envelopes, I can just remove it this way and then just add in the new envelopes. So that is it you guys. I hope this is somehow helpful. If you guys are, you know, thinking of making this style of wallet, please watch So Crafty Sana's full tutorial video on it. And I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye, Pinang family.